World Health Organization declared what's happening with the coronavirus today a global pandemic. So with more on what exactly that means is medical reporter Liz Bonus. Liz, break this down for us, please. Yeah, this has been very interesting. So according to the World Health Organization, a pandemic is declared when a new disease for which people do not have immunity spreads around the world beyond our expectations. As we have continued to see today, that clearly is what has happened as we've discovered more cases here and around the world. I did ask Dr. Stephen Blatt as we've been leading up to this, what makes this virus different and what is a pandemic versus an epidemic? Well, pandemic just isn't an, uh, an infection that's going to spread completely around the world. And so far, I would say this has all the signs of a pandemic. We have people in multiple countries and it's spreading very rapidly. Epidemics are usually relatively more local, maybe in one uh, community or one country or one state. Uh, but this, I think, is much more look, uh, looking much more like a pandemic than a, than a simple epidemic. Well, there's still a lot being learned about this virus, but it looks like this virus can spread before a person has symptoms. So that might make, might make it much more difficult to control. Um, and there are some early studies suggesting that even after patients are symptomatically better, they can still shed some virus. So this, this virus is pretty sneaky, and it seems to be highly efficient at spreading itself. So the reason I was asking about that is MERS didn't become a pandemic. Okay. SARS didn't become a pandemic. Ebola didn't. So I said, what's different? And he said, well, we don't know yet because what's going to happen is we're going to test lots of people and we're probably actually going to find a fairly low death rate because mm -hmm. so right. many people had it and yeah. didn't know it. And he said, it's because you can have symptoms. You can spread it before you have symptoms. And maybe even when you're done, you're still spreading it. We don't know. I have so many questions. Okay, so you said with the flu, you could sometimes have symptoms and not know it as well. Yeah, there are times that people, we say you're infectious but you say, but I didn't have a fever. So sometimes the same thing happens. A lot of people are comparing this to just a new flu. The difference is we're not immune to it. Mm -hmm. And Kyle asked me, are you talking about social distancing? Yes, that's what yeah, it was. Okay, so it. the biggest thing that we can do is three to six feet is probably your best bet because it's spread by respiratory droplets. What are we supposed to do? Okay. I said that too. I go, you know, I can't cozy up. Nice seeing yeah. you guys. We got to practice right. what we preach, Liz. Thank <laughs> All you right, so much.